Hmm. Hello, this is the 13th of June of 2021, and the title of this message is Fulfill Your God-Given Mission. First, we're going to pray before we go further. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for letting us sit at your feet, for studying your word, even reading your word out loud. We ask you to um, keep it quiet outside and quiet and cool inside. And Father, I ask the Holy Spirit attaches to each word and only your message goes out and it goes to people that you intend it for around the world. Touch my eyes and my speech, Father, and my understanding in Jesus' name. Okay. Um, we want to fulfill our God-given mission and we're going to talk about this. Okay, Holy Spirit's indwelling gives us a power to carry out or to perform the works of God while living uh, on earth to fulfill our God-given mission. Okay, so when he says something to you, gives you a project to do or tells you to do something, do it. Because the Holy Spirit will always have your back. Even if it seems stupid to you or if it seems like you're going to look you're going to look foolish just go ahead and do it anyhow. And I would rather tell the truth or do the thing that that uh, God tells me to do while I'm here on earth and have someone angry at me on earth than to stand in front of my creator and him be questioning me as why I didn't do what he told me to do and him to be angry at me. No. I'll do my best to listen to him, to listen for his voice, and to do what he tells me to do. So that's what we all need to be doing. Okay? And you know, the rewards well outweigh the embarrassment. <laughs> Think of it that way. Okay, let's look at these. Uh, let's look at some, some scriptures. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in all Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Hallelujah. Let's look at Romans chapter 8 verse 37. Romans 8, hallelujah, verse 37. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that's love does. Revelation 12, 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Woo, hallelujah. It's also in 1 John 5, verse 4. Okay, we're going to look at John chapter 21, verse 6. John 21, verse 6. John chapter 21, verse 6. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. See, what did I say? The rewards will well outweigh by billions of times the embarrassment of today. John 21 and then verse 11. John 21 verse 11. Simon Peter went up and drew the net to land full of great fishes, a hundred and fifty and three, and for all there were so many, yet was not the net broken. Hallelujah. John 21, verse 15 to 17. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? And he saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith unto him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him a third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. 
Woo, hallelujah. Luke 24 and then verse 49. Luke 24. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And then verse 49. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tear ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. And then Acts chapter 2, verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Um, and now we believers are able to perform our great commission. Once we're filled with Holy Spirit, we have the power and the, not the authority, yes, but the power to fulfill our God-given mission while we're on earth. Hallelujah. So let's look at the great commission. It's uh, Matthew 28, verses 18 to 20. Hallelujah. Matthew 28. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Verses 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, in, even to the end of the world. Which, actually, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, I think. Remember, authority um, came when you accepted Jesus as your Savior. Power comes um, from His Holy Spirit indwelling in you. So remember, you ask Christ, to be, or Jesus Christ, you ask Jesus into your life to be your Savior. First you repent, then you ask him to be your Savior. And you say, um, baptize me with your Holy Spirit. As you remember, John said, here comes the Lamb of the world, the Lamb that taketh away the sins of the world, who will baptize in Holy Spirit and fire. Or fire and Holy Spirit, I think it says. But what I'm saying is, um, the power comes from the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. That's the second step. Okay. Um, so please keep in mind that the translate power and authority, and I don't know why this happened, but with the translators, sometimes it should have been translated power, sometimes it should have been translated authority. And those in scripture, though, they're interchangeable, which is different. Sometimes it should have been power, sometimes it should have been authority. Okay? So, like I guess that could be confusing here. Also, we know that Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are titles, just like Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jeho you know, uh, those things there, they're, they're titles. So um, now we know we are baptized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the world, what we just seen in verse 20 here, um, world should have been translated at age. Okay, so that can be confusing if you don't know that. Okay, so um, and now we know we are to baptize in the name of Jesus, and the word world was should have been translated age. So sorry to repeat myself there, but that's really important, really, really important. So let's uh, look at uh, Philippians chapter four, verse thirteen. Philippians four. And verse 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Hallelujah. Mark 3, 15. Mark 3. Thank you, Lord. Verse 15. And to have power to heal sickness and to cast out devils. Luke 10, verse 19. Luke 10, verse 19. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Whoo, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing will hurt us as long as we are under the blood, like Psalms 91 says. He who dwells in a secret place shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And it goes on to say, whoo, he'll catch us. His angels have charge over us to keep us in all our ways. His angels will bear us up when we fall. Whoo, and praise Jesus that like, like uh, 1 John 1 verse 9 if, if we will confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. This is what I'm saying here. Remember uh, that when you ask Christ into your heart and you give your life over to him, he gives you the authority to cast out demons like we just read. Then you go the second step and ask for our Holy Spirit to baptize you or ask for Holy Spirit baptism. And with the indwelling of Holy Spirit, comes power and remember when you start praising God his Holy Spirit gets excited which is the Holy Spirit is the very nature of God and his spirit will get excited and start speaking through you remember there's dead languages there's alive languages there's heavenly languages and so even though words try to formulate in your mouth and you, you sound like a drunk person or baby talk continue to let Holy Spirit every day often often throughout the day speak through you because that language will get bolder it'll get stronger and more defined and it also strengthens your inner man so you have the boldness to cast the demons out along with the authority and the boldness tell those demons to leave and you know who you are in Christ see we need to learn who we are in Christ what he taught that he taught the kingdom how how he walked on the earth how he talked talk to people and the demons. How he cast demons out. Who our enemy is, which is Satan and his demons. We need to know the Bible scriptures. We need to um, memorize what we can memorize. We need to uh, study biblical hermeneutics and uh, the times, the people, the times, uh, like the time period that the scripture was written or the book of the Bible was written. All these things, and, and it's not a one-time thing. It's not a... I can learn it right now and I'll forever. No, the more you read the Word, which is our roadmap here, the Bible, the more you get out of it, the more Holy Spirit will talk to you, the more you learn to hear the Holy Spirit. So when He brings something up to your mind, a memory or a name or a scripture, go study it out. And remember, when you're reading the Word, and if you see uh, that it's something is spoke about once, you take notice of it, okay? If it spoke about two, perk up your ears, okay? If it spoke about three times and Holy Spirit is showing you these things, I guarantee he's trying to show you something. So stop what you're doing, write down what he showed you real quick, jot it down, and go research. If it's a word or if it's a place, go research what it says in the Bible about it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to bless everyone within the sound of my hearing. I ask you the hearing of me and my voice, Father. I ask you to upload this video quickly and for your Holy Spirit to attach to it, to go to who it needs to go to. In Jesus' name.